Hey everybody, um, this is my welcome video for Math 171, uh, 681, and 881B. It's a dual section. Uh, this is the B session. Uh, this is fall 2022. Uh, I'm excited to have all of you in my class this semester. Uh, I'm here to help you any way I can. Um, this video is really going to focus on policies and procedures for the course so you can really focus on the content for the next eight weeks. Uh, the first thing I want to say is this is an eight-week uh, asynchronous uh, pre-calculus course. Uh, there is, you're going to have to spend a lot of time by yourself working through this material. Um, if that's not what you signed up for, uh, we offer a lot of different formats of sections. Um, so in the first two days of the semester are add drop. So this is um, a time when we can get you in a different section, a different format. Um, but I really encourage you, uh, be budgeting your time now. The biggest reason students struggle to be successful in this class is because they don't budget the time and space they need to be successful. And I want to see every one of you be successful. Um, so budget the time you need um, to sit down, um, to set the table. Um, some students really struggle because they hop straight into the homework assignment. They don't take the time to uh, work through the lecture videos, work through the textbook. Um, make sure you're taking the time to set the table so that you can uh, really succeed when you get to the assignments. Um, so I want to spend some time clicking around Blackboard and um, clicking, uh, show, talking about the syllabus. So let's get started here. Uh, we'll get started with Blackboard. Um, you can find Blackboard uh, under Courses. Uh, it should be listed in your Active Courses. Uh, I want to talk about when Blackboard becomes available. So we have a partial uh, Blackboard opening on Saturday, 10-15. Um, so no assignments will be available on 10-15. Um, assignments become available when the semester actually starts on 10-17, on Monday. Um, that's, the, that's the rule for the college and I'm following it. Um, so uh, all of our course materials can be found online. Um, you should find on Monday that the coursework page is your landing page. Uh, this is the page that you're going to spend most of your time in this class. So we'll, we'll spend some time discussing coursework today. Let's click around a little bit. Uh, instructor contact, you can see my smiley face over here. Uh, email is the easiest way to get in touch with me. I try to be very responsive. Um, unless I'm asleep, I'm typically able to get back to a student within an hour. Um, so I, I, I want to hear from you and I want to help, so please email me if I can. Um, Course entry assignment is very important, and I ask that you do the course entry assignment on Monday on the first day. Uh, there's a link to it right here. You can also find it in discussion boards. The course entry assignment is a discussion board post that you need to do. Um, you have to do this so you can stay in the class. It's something we are required to do for auditing purposes. Um, this looks a little small on the screen. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger for everybody. Okay. Uh, the Start Here button, um, the video I'm recording right now, I'll stick right here. Um, I also got some digital calculator stuff right here. Uh, campus Resources, uh, tutoring is a great resource, particularly since this class doesn't meet. Sitting down and working one-on-one -on -one with someone could be very beneficial. Uh, and the Learning Center offers virtual tutoring sessions as well as uh, in-person tutoring. Uh, the virtual tutoring sessions are done over Zoom. Uh, virtual sessions require an appointment. Uh, in-person can be done uh, via walk-in. If you need any assistance at all with tutoring, including you just need someone to help you walk over to the Learning Center and find a tutor that you can sit down with, please let me know. I'm happy to help. Okay. Uh, coursework, uh, my grades are nice. Let's click on that. Um, so this is a good place to keep track of what you've completed um, and uh, to get a projection of what grades you're going to earn in the class. Um, 
I, I will tell you that Blackboard automatically updates the or automatically posts these due dates and sometimes they're wrong and I have no way to change that. I wish I did, but I think they're all right, at least currently, but I have had that issue. So I encourage you not to go off of these dates because sometimes Blackboard gets it wrong. Where you can see due dates is in the assignment and on the syllabus. Those are the two places you want to look for due dates. Okay. Uh, let's actually pull up the syllabus and talk about it a bit. So this is fall. We do a start on the 17th. I said that right, didn't I? Yep. Uh, and this class goes until December 16th. So again, it's an eight-week class. This is a five-credit hour class, so that's quote-unquote 10 cr uh, contact hours a week plus homework. Um, so big time commitment here, time commitment of a part-time job. Um, so make sure you're budgeting your time wisely. Uh, if this wasn't what you were expecting, if this wasn't the time commitment you were expecting, uh, then you, you can reach out to me, but I encourage you to, to work out something the first or second day of class, ideally the first day of class, because um, we offer a lot of different formats of this course. Um, find the situation that's right for you. Okay, I go by Mr. Lee. I go by middle name, so I go by Mr. Lee. Uh, email is the easiest way to get in touch with me. My office is in the ba basement of the uh, Strickland building uh, modality. This is an asynchronous course. There's some information on asynchronous. This course does not meet. Uh, that is not my choice. That's the way the class was set up. Um, you guys just work through the material on your own and I, I'm here as, as a support uh, resource for you. Uh, the, the last day of the withdrawal is Friday 11-18. That date should be the same for all of your B session classes. Uh, there's no course materials to purchase, although I do encourage you to purchase a graphing calculator, something in the TI-83 family. Uh, you can find them on eBay for $20. Um, they're used a lot in higher ed. You're going to need a TI-83 calculator for other classes uh, in your math career, whether it be you know a calculus class or something. Uh, so it, it's a long-term investment. And I want you to feel comfortable using a graphing calculator. So I encourage you to pick one up. Uh, the textbook is provided for free through Blackboard. Uh, we use a platform called MyOpenMath. MyOpenMath is integrated with Blackboard. It's single logon. So we are in a uh, we're in Blackboard right now. When I click on a folder, it's actually taking me to MyOpenMath. Uh, when I click on an assignment. It takes me into my open math. Um, so it's a it's integrated flawlessly. Um, the textbook, you can find it right here. Uh, if you want to buy a copy of it, if you want to print a copy, uh, we're just using the first four chapters. Uh, you can print a copy right here. I got a printed copy on my shelf unless I lent it out. I'm looking right now. Well, someone has it right now. I have a printed copy. I have misplaced it or someone borrowed it slash stole it, which is okay. Um, if you really want to see it, I can, I'm happy to show it to you. Uh, if you want to print this, you're welcome to. It's 374 pages. Um, if you would like to purchase the textbook, uh, you can usually find it on Amazon for around $15. Maybe some more used copies will get posted. I've seen it as low as like $7 used. Uh, very few students purchase the textbook, but it's there if you want it. Um, each section of the textbook is integrated with the folder. So when we talk about section, let's just go down and look at an example, 2.3, you will have a lecture video or lecture videos at top. Then you will have the textbook. Here's the textbook for section 2.3 in nice color and everything. You will have other helpful videos and then you will have the homework assignment. 
So most students don't print the text. Most students don't purchase the text. They just use it in the folder. But do what you're most comfortable with, particularly if you know you got if you're if you're trying to do everything from a laptop computer, having the text to the side uh, might be a, a, a more convenient uh, experience than trying to click between tabs. Okay, uh, the Coreg course is uh, Math 071. Uh, if you withdraw from the Coreg course, if you are dropped from the Coreg course, I have to withdraw you. So please do not do that. Um, learning outcomes and stuff are here. You can read that. 10 point grading scale. How your grade for this class will be calculated. Um, and I'm going to jump between this and the end a little bit. There are four exams, 7.5% each for 30% total. I purposely set the exams where you can comfortably fail every exam in this class and still comfortably pass this class. Homework is 40%. Homework is always the biggest indicator of how you perform in the course. I want to see strong homework grades. Labs, 30%. Um, homeworks, you get unlimited attempts on each question up until the due date. Labs, you get three attempts on each lab. The highest uh, grade is recorded. Test, you get one attempt. Um, so means of grace, the, the easiest way to, to improve your grade is with really strong homework grades. And actually, I say unlimited attempts. Uh, mom limits me, my open math limits me to 100 attempts. So if you just want to look at an assignment here, we'll pick on 1.5. Click start right here. You see right here it says 99. Um, you can hop around all you want. See if I can find something kind of easy. Maybe I picked the wrong thing for just a quick, easy question. Uh, let's pick on another assignment. One where I know I can get something that makes this uh, example really easy. So here we go, 1.1, first section, lecture, text, extra videos, homework. Oh, I clicked on the teacher preview. Let me click on what you guys would see. Um, start. Okay, here's the first question. Let's purposely get the first question wrong. You see that uh, I get it wrong and I can click similar question. This counter goes from 99 to 98. Let's purposely get it wrong again. And similar question, 97. Let's purposely get it wrong again. Maybe again. And uh, so we're down to 95 attempts now, 95 attempts left. Uh, and it, it'll tell you if you, so you can get a similar question 95 more times. Um, let's get the question right. Yay, you get full credit. So you can burn through 20, 30 attempts. You still get full credit. If you honestly burn through 100 attempts in good faith, reach out to me. We'll work something out. Uh, I want to not drag this video, so let's keep this moving along. Um, let's compare this with the pacing guide. The pacing guide tells you what is due every night. We have daily assignments in this course. You have something due every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. Every other weekend, every other Saturday night, you have an exam, except for the last exam is on Thursday 12-15 because I need to record grades that next day. So make sure you're budgeting your time wisely for that. Uh, we do get a week off for uh, Thanksgiving. So today, uh, the first day of the class, 10-17, uh, watch this video, knock out the course entry assignment, review the syllabus. If you want to go ahead and get started on 1.1, I think that's a great idea. Section 1.1 is due Tuesday, so that means 
Tuesday by 11.55 p.m. You need to have green check marks on all 32 of these questions. You need to budget the time to watch the lecture videos, read the text, you can skim the videos if you want, um, and then go into the homework and knock out all 32 questions. So make sure you're budgeting your time wisely. Um, that's the idea. Everything is open now. Uh, I have students that knock out this class in two weeks, and I think that's a great idea. So you, I encourage you to work ahead. Uh, let's look at a lab uh, while we're here. So in the coursework tab, you see Monday's homework assignment, excuse me, Tuesday's homework assignment, Wednesday's homework assignment. You have a lab every Thursday. The lab is made up of test questions. Oh, I was playing around with this one a little while earlier. So um, let's just look at the student preview. Uh, the lab is out of 100 points. It's typically five questions. You submit the whole lab at once. Let's purposely get everything or a lot of this stuff wrong. I doubt the answer is G. That's wrong. I doubt the answer here is G. OK. So I just scored a 10 on this lab. Um, I can then retake it. You get three attempts. Your uh, highest attempt is the one that's recorded. So uh, I encourage you to do one attempt. And then um, if you are in good shape after that one attempt, great. If not, reach out and get some extra support before you take attempt two. OK, I think that's the highlights. Uh, please reach out to me if you have any questions. If there's anything I can do to assist you, uh, I am excited about us having a good semester together.